back to this thing. The caption says, this video is for the network marketing haters. With love, I come in peace. What are you, a fucking green alien? Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Let me see if I can get this uh, light adjusted. Hopefully, you're having a great day. Hopefully, December is off to an awesome start for you. Sure fucking is, Christina. Thank you for asking. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Christina, and I'm a mom of four. Uh, they're actually all running around in my house, so you may or may not hear them in the background, uh, but that's okay, because that's my whole world. So, I wanted to come and talk to you guys specifically about the topic of network marketing haters. Guys, listen, we all have haters, okay? We all have them. Doesn't matter what profession you're in, there are people who don't like you. If you're a chiropractor, there are people who do not like you. If you're an attorney, there are people who do not like you. If you're a politician, of all, we have to get this out of the way. I love the introduction of the, and again, I've had this multiple times told to me by other top leaders, this is not new, where they try to make themselves to be this kind, timid mom, right? Which again, nothing wrong with being a mom. I'm just saying, she's trying to put herself in a position of, I'm just a mom trying to do good for my family. Oh, you hear my kids in the background? I literally had um, Colleen from No Shame Sales Game message me be like, I'm a mom of three and I have a husband. And I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. I don't, th that's not what I talk about. I don't give a shit what you do in your personal time or what you have in your personal time. I give a shit about the MLM and what you do in that MLM. That's it. I don't focus on personal stuff because that has nothing to do with the problem. There are people who don't like you. If you're a teacher, people don't like you. If you are a stay at home mom, people don't like you. It doesn't matter what you do. You could be a professional athlete. People don't like you. There's gonna be haters in every single profession, period. And so I don't expect my profession to be any different. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a highly educated um, teacher. I'm a school teacher by trade. I have multiple uh, graduate degrees. And I always- Again, what the fuck does this have to do with anything? This is a part of manipulating people to feel bad for her and think that she is a very highly educated individual, which I'm gonna be honest with you, of course, if she has degrees and she's got all this, I'm not saying she's uneducating those factors. Absolutely, again, this has nothing to do with her personal life. I don't give a shit about that. However, if you're gonna display yourself as you're doing now as this educated person that is very smart and knowing knows a lot of shit, right? That proves to me then, you're a self-aware person, you're smart, you choose to be completely ignorant to the problems of multi-level marketing, and you choose to spew those lies and all that ignorance to other people. So again, I'm gonna hold you highly accountable for you, just because you said that. Just because you said that seals my deal. If you did really good in school, if you were absolutely doing amazing, if you were teaching, you're probably a smart individual that can pay attention to details. Okay then, then you know what you're doing. You just proved my point more there, good God. I always envisioned teaching, not because I aspired to be wealthy, right? But because I desire to make an impact. I desire to have influence in the world. Um, and so how in the world I ended up in network marketing, that's a whole story for another day. <clears throat> but what I want to talk to you about is if you are a network marketing hater, I want you to know that I come to you in love. Uh, I come to you as somebody who has been wronged um, by you in the same way that you feel wronged by the industry that I love. And so I just wanna to talk to you. No, just, as I feel wronged by you, oh, don't pull this shit. Yes, you feel wronged by me. Okay, Christina, you do. Because your mentality is pissed because I'm educating people about what you and other people do for a living. You are bothered about that. You feel wronged that I'm pretty much essentially taking away people's thought processes of, oh, Plexus is good. Ooh, I'm educating people on the subject while using you as a prime example of what the hell not to do and what to avoid. You feel wronged because I'm calling you out for problems. I feel wronged because I witness people that experience people like you every damn day and they lose so much. This is not the same. For a few minutes um, on some common ground. First of all, I'm not angry at you for making your hate videos about me. 
I've seen them where you go to my YouTube and you watch the videos that I use to train my team and train other people in the industry. And then you record over them, mocking me and making fun of me and just talking about all the, the horrible things that I do and believe in. Uh, and you make it personal. And I want you to know I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm really, I'm, I swear to God, I'm not trying to be an ass right now laughing, but I can't help it. This is freaking funny. I'm not mad at you for making a video about me and being hateful. I'm not mad. In all seriousness, though, the way that she is describing this of hate videos, mocking you and making it personal. As a former teacher, do we not know what making it personal means? Making it personal with me being calling your family out and other stuff like that. Which, mind you, there was a video where I did show her husband speaking up with her about stuff. But I honestly would sympathize with him more in a way because her husband, I feel like, is very unaware and is also experiencing the negative effects of what she is doing. Um, so yeah, no, this is not personal. I don't give a, again, I don't know how many times I need to say this, and I've expressed this multiple times in videos about her. I don't care about what you do in your personal life. That's not what this is about. I don't care what you wear. I don't care what, what school you went to. I don't care how many kids you have. I don't care what your family, I don't give a shit. I care about what you do in your MLM, how you display that, and how you lead people. Those are the things I care about. And yeah, I share my commentary on it because one, I'm also educating people, but I'm also making it funny because some of this is funny. Now, mind you, I get it. There's some situations where you don't laugh, but in a lot of these things that she's recorded, I can't help but laugh. Not necessarily because all the time it's funny, but because you're sometimes so shocked at how stupid some of these trainings are that you're like, this is real? Like, what the hell? And it blows your mind, honestly. And it's just comical how bad it is, in my opinion. But just, oh, spewing hate. Oh, recording over it. I see your hate videos. This is not hate. Again, if you're a teacher, what's the definition of hate, Christina? I have hate for you. Hate's a pretty strong word. I don't hate you as a person. Do I, do I not vibe with you with the shit that you do? Absolutely. I honestly hate what you do, not who you are as a person. I, I'm just saying, I don't vibe with what you're doing whatsoever, and I honestly wish that you would get out of that. Absolutely. But I don't hate you. I hate the company, and I hate your actions that you're partaking in. I hate the lies that you spew. I hate the manipulation tactics that you portray in your trainings. I also hate the way that you condone harassment. So, no, okay? Don't do this, oh, it's a hate video. It's called be a be a boss babe leader like you claim that you are and hold yourself to these freaking things that you have made for yourself like, I, I forgive you uh, it's not slowing me down uh, my success my team our industry our company we're we're booming this is lumen the first device for hacking your metabolism with just one breath Lumen we're booming okay it sounds like you're trying to convince yourself christine first of all christina I don't ask for your forgiveness. I've never asked for it, nor do I give a shit about your forgiveness, okay? This is not what this is about. I don't need someone to forgive me for what I do. Hop off the pedestal and let's let's actually do this face-to-face -face here because this is bullshit. This is not affecting me or my team. Is it? Is it not? Are you sure? Because why would you be so driven to make this sob story, this gentlewoman response, mind you? to any audience and viewers that you have. Why would you do that? Oh, see, if I was running an amazing business and if I was just this horribly successful entrepreneur, I wouldn't give a shit what some random hater on the internet said if she was wrong. Now, if she's right, then you need to address it. Like we're doing right now, correct? If I'm not affecting you, if I'm not affecting anything, why was this so necessary? It, it does affect you, but you, you can make up shit. You're really good at that. I, I firmly believe that 